The metal build High New Gundam. I've honestly never been a fan of metal builds. They always looked amazing in the promotional photos, but when the piece was in hand, I found myself underwhelmed. I'm a fairly big fan of the New Gundam and the High New Gundam. They had a big impact on me, and my first DVD was Shars Counterattack. That's right, I was weaving before you were even born. The figure is decent. It's solid as a rock in every sense of the word, but it suffers from a major design flaw. The fin funnels are absolutely a nightmare. I recall reading reviews of the figure with tons of people complaining about the fin funnels and attaching them was downright miserable. To attach the fin funnels, there's a trick to it that will take you a minimum of 30 minutes to figure out. And while doing so, you will scratch your painted piece to all hell. This was so bad, it made every resin kit I've ever worked with seem like a walk in the park by comparison. How is this not tweaked to be easier and less damaging to the figure in and of itself is beyond me. I'd assume metal builds are for people who don't want to paint kits, but want a finished look. And if you get this thing and you're fighting with putting in the fin funnels, you're going to scratch it up. Wouldn't that ruin the experience? The paint work is okay. I have to keep reminding myself that this is a mass produced piece, but there are paint flaws, small ones. Hell, there are even hairs in the paintwork of my metal build figure. I found it a bit funny, but also a little sad. This figure is $300 plus, but it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, the proportions of the mecha is actually very nice. The design itself is different yet familiar, and it can hold a pose like nobody's business. There's also a few opening hatch gimmicks. Also, for this thing to be as heavy as it is, it still suffers from the curse of the high new Gundam. The back is even heavier. If you slap on the bazooka, this guy is going to need the stand. All in all, this is an alright figure, but for the price, it isn't amazing me. For as much as this thing costs, you could go out and buy a few master grades. Or a really nice perfect grade. I think you could probably get the Exia with the LED unit. Isn't that about the price of that? And I think you would get more satisfaction from the model kits than you would this metal build figure. If you have disposable income, have at it then. I was originally going to compare this to my Li Xiao Lan Master Grade build. But for the overall presentation, there's no contest. Li Xiao Lan wins. But for everything else, the metal build would win. But let's look at it in this perspective. If you fiddle with the kit, of course, the metal build is for you. But if you buy stuff just to have it sit in a glass case like I do. The money would be better spent elsewhere. Don't get me wrong, it's a posed monster, but outside of that, it's a very plain paint job that doesn't really pop enough to justify it to me. Maybe it's because I've gained a modeler's eye and I see things differently than the average person who doesn't paint model kits all day and think about painting. You see, I buy things and I want them to be on display. And while on display, I would like when people come over to look at them and go, Wow! Rather than looking at it and go, Oh, Transformers toys! See, that's my overall problem. It just looks like a glorified toy. But a cool one at that.